6 One UI 7 settings Samsung Galaxy users should change right now. Just updated your Samsung Galaxy to One UI 7? Don't stop at the new look. Some hidden settings could totally level up or ruin your daily experience. Here are six changes you should make ASAP to get the most out of your phone. Split notification and quick settings panel. One UI 7 brings a big change to how notifications and quick settings work. Now swiping down from the right corner opens quick settings, and swiping from the left brings down your notifications, kind of like how it works on iPhones. Don't like it? You can go back to the old setup where everything is in one pull-down panel. Swipe down twice to fully open quick settings. Tap the pencil icon. Select panel settings. Choose together. Try the new version for a few days. If it feels weird or annoying, switch back. Vertical app drawer is back. You may not notice right away, but One UI 7 brings back the vertical scrolling app drawer. Perfect if you've got tons of apps. To turn it on, open the app drawer. Tap the three dot menu next to the search bar. Select alphabetical order. This will arrange your apps AZ and switch to a vertical layout with a handy scroll bar on the side. Good luck, home screen freedom. If you use GoodLock, you should. It just got better with One UI 7 and Android 15. The Home Up module is the highlight here. It lets you break free from boring grids, place icons, stickers, widgets anywhere, customize the dock, hide it or add up to nine shortcuts, change animation speeds and physics like stiffness, friction, and damping. It's a customization dream, more powerful than many custom ROMs. Now Bar equals live info at a glance. Meet Now Bar. Samsung's version of Apple's dynamic island and live activities. It shows real-time info like music playback, maps directions, or sports scores on your lock screen or status bar. To tweak it, go to Settings, Lock Screen and AOD, Now Bar. Choose which apps can show info, like Media Player, Google Maps, etc. If you use Always On Display, you can make the Now Bar show there too. Go to Always On Display Settings, enable Show Now Bar, Mini Lock Screen Widgets. Full screen lock screen widgets are gone. Now you get mini widgets instead. While they're smaller, they're always visible, which is a nice touch. To add them, long press your lock screen and unlock when asked. Tap add widgets to choose from options like battery, gallery, and calendar. You can add up to two mini widgets. Also, tap the clock to customize its look. New fonts and themes are now available in One UI 7. To sync camera filters that don't suck. I usually avoid filters in the Samsung camera app, but One UI 7 changes that. Now you can create and tweak your own filters. Adjust temperature, saturation, contrast, and grain. Create custom filters using any photo as a base. Set different filters for your front and rear cameras. If you're into photography or just want your pics to have a certain vibe, this is a great new tool. One UI 7 is more than just a pretty update. It hides a bunch of useful features that can seriously upgrade your Galaxy experience. Dig into these settings right after the update to make your phone feel fresh, fast, and fully yours.